it's the middle of the night, your loved one is in the hospital and suddenly needs medical attention. What if instead of waiting for the doctor to arrive on the scene, he was there 24-7 virtually? It's actually happening right now at Cornerstone Hospital in Houston. Take a look at this video right here. Bentley, that's the robot's name, Bentley the robot is visiting patients and assisting with critical care, putting the right doctor in touch with patients as quickly as possible. And joining us with more about Cornerstone Hospital's tele-ICU program, please welcome Dr. Imo Asiku. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. All right, first, let's define what, what Cornerstone Hospital is, because it's kind of a specialty hospital. Certainly, certainly. So I think um, we're used to our traditional short-term hospitals, where you get sick, you go, and then you get admitted to the hospital. Now we've sort of developed what we call long-term acute care hospital, which is the kind of hospital that Cornerstone is, which means you're still sick, you don't necessarily need short-term care, but you need to be in a hospital for several weeks. Right. And so you'll go to a place called an LTAC or long-term acute care and get condi um, additional care, ICU level or otherwise. Yeah, and so we certainly know that, that this kind of care can be sometimes even more overwhelming than, than your average hospital because things can happen at any time with these patients that you're trying to get well. Um, so the old way of doing business uh, when, a, when a patient had urgent problems would be what? So take, for example, in the old model is... Um, it's the middle of the night, like you were describing, mm -hmm. and something's going on with the patient, whether it's minor or major, you'd pick up the phone and call the doctor or something and kind of describe what was going on, and the doctor kind of has to say, okay, well, I saw the patient earlier, maybe I didn't, what is going on, maybe I'm covering for somebody, all right, why don't we try this or yeah. do this? Sounds like to me there's a lot of time taken to figure exactly. out to assess the situation. All right, the new way is what we're calling tele-ICU. Correct. Um, is amazing because uh, now what you do is you cut down that time and some things can be even more efficient. Exactly. So think of it now, let's take the worst case scenario, mm -hmm. all right? Your loved one's heart stops. Oh, there you are. Yeah, right, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, okay, right. so. So, um, so your loved one's heart stops and you need to actively do something to get him started. The nurse can take Bentley in this case right to the room when it gets started while they're calling me and as soon as I get on the line, Basically, I'm in the room while everything's going on and helping to take care of the patient from doing CPR to helping to intubate the patient and do things like that, yeah. which is kind of what we demonstrate on the video. Right, and so on that video there, so it's like, it's like instead of you trying to guess over the phone what's going on, that computer's telling you exactly what's going exactly. on with that patient. That's amazing. All right, uh, and I would imagine the thing that it also does is, is if it can free up that kind of time for you, because you know when you're on rounds, it's like, you know, you're there, to, it, it's, a, it's very intense, but it can free up some time for you to do other things with patients. Correct, so if um, in the normal setup for, for us in our office, Office. We'll have multiple screens with the medical records, the radiology and the laboratory, and the patient. And so I can look at all of those things at once, and I don't necessarily have to ambulate or walk to any of those different areas yeah. while trying to take care of the patient. So I'm actively looking at the image of the patient, I'm looking at the patient, and I'm looking at the labs all simultaneously. So that's like their chart, uh, whereas exactly. you're not flipping through a bunch of pages exactly. you know, hooked onto the end of the patient's bed as Correct. well. Uh, the other thing is if you're gone for the day, how many times did this happen that you either Either had to turn around and come back to the hospital or you're gone for the day and, and you can't get the question right. answered till the next day this way you can get that question answered almost immediately it's actually pretty amazing um, so we have a setup that's kind of like what I described mm -hmm. but then as you're showing some of your technology apparel or what have mm -hmm. you so I can actually camera in on an iPad or my iPhone and still be able to get access and see the patient as well. So we can talk to you. We You're can there. talk to me there, talk to the family, talk to the nurse and what have you in mobile devices as well as your traditional desktop. Yeah, so the doctor is always there. The doctor is always there. And it's also available for non-critical and non-urgent questions, but again, having that communication with your patient and the staff. Correct. I think um, stroke technology is where it really took off where patients needed to get clot busters within a short amount of time, mm -hmm. but you needed specialists who could read the CT scan, make that decision to give the clot busting drug or not, and people are using that in, as far from here to, let's say, California. The doctor's that far away making wow. that decision and saying, yes, this person qualifies, the exam meets this, let's go ahead and give the clot busting drug. And then once it took off there, people started to realize you could use it for a lot of other yeah. uh, scenarios, and in our case, the ICU. And also connecting to maybe specialist. I know when I had my brain aneurysm, I was in New York City. Basically, I'm checking with a friend of mine in California. Yep. And so, but back then, the way they had to send all my information was much different. And then to, right, it could be just right there immediately. Exactly. Wow. We okay. have um, scenarios where the patient and the family are there, two doctors in two different states, 
uh, talking to the patient and family, looking at the images and coming up with a decision of how to take care of the patient. Wow. All right, and finally, does Bentley clean house? We're working on it. Okay, We're working on it. <laughs> if Bentley cleans house, I might need to borrow him once a week, okay? All right, <laughs> to schedule a tour or for more information on Cornerstone Hospital Medical Center, you can call 832-649-6200.